Howdy there, gamers. Welcome back. Now, as you can see, I've got the dressing gown back, of course, all right? It is clean. It is fresh. Look, you give it a little sniff, a little smell. Mmm, you get a real waft of just epicness. Anyway, today is obviously epic prank day. Everybody just tells really funny jokes to each other. Obviously, I had to get involved in the trend or not. I did prank my friend ahead of time. I haven't seen the results yet. We're still waiting for those. The other day, all right, I broke into my friend's house, to his computer, and I changed his background. A person getting um, fricked in the poopy hole. And then this morning, I went on to the official group chat, you know, just to bamboozle him in front of everybody. And I told him that there were ps5s in stock all right now you may think this is evil all right but personally i just think it, it's fair game i mean look it's epic prank day yeah you're gonna have to do an epic prank on epic prank day i mean let's be real my plan was for him to go onto his laptop to go and buy a ps5 or you know he would have thought he was gonna go and buy a ps5 and he would get online there would be no ps5s and he'd close the tab and oh someone getting fucked poopy poopy butthole would be so funny just think about it depressed from not getting a ps5 then you've got to look at some anal sex personally i think it's a good concept all right i think it's an epic prank we just need to see the results all right keep you updated i'll inform you once we have the results available all right anyway let's get into the video so i'm sure you all know how the internet feels about boomers there was a whole thing of you know calling boomers boomers you say something like okay boomers when boomers would say something cringe to you it was pretty funny until retarded kids who didn't even know when boomers were even born started calling anybody who was slightly older than them a boomer have a different opinion to me and you're older okay boomer it was sort of shit like that and then it ruined the meme all right anyway you know the boomers they're, they're sort of just chilling now not really doing anything to anybody at the moment all right they're just chilling inside what have i told you there was, uh, there was a new race of boomers there were new boomers, new threat to humanity. Gamers, this might shock you, okay? Millennials becoming boomers. Faster than you may think. As we speak, they are slowly mutating into boomers. I have evidence to prove it. Hey there, gamers. I'm back in here, all right? Apparently, I was shouting too loud and people wanted to go to sleep. But I think is really inconsiderate, all right? Imagine choosing to go to sleep at the time I decide to record. I mean, it's not like I procrastinate videos all day and then record really late when people want to get some shut eye honestly how inconsiderate are these boomers i live with apparently on tiktok there was a war between gen z and millennials millennials they brought out their cringe side all right and we're just going to be watching some of these clips all right and i'm going to be showing you how millennials have become boomers the first woman i'm going to show you is a video from tiktok all right obviously most cringe comes from tiktok nowadays all right woman basically how do i describe it she goes insane I figured it out there is constantly a competition between Gen Z and Millennials. What the fuck is this woman on about? She's like, I finally figured it out. Like, what, what have you done? Have you cracked, like, the Da Vinci Code or some shit? Have you figured out advanced mathematics, all right? Do you have anything of substance to give us other than crying? Millennials shouldn't be trying to dress like 14, 15, 16 year olds. And I hope that when you are 28, 29, 30, you're not trying to dress like 14, 16, 15, 16 year olds. So when you see a millennial not wearing a side, not wearing a middle part, and not wearing the jeans that you want them to be, maybe you just shut up because they shouldn't be. You should be actually worried about people. You know what? No, you just keep your opinions to yourself because you're literally six years old. You're 12. You don't know nothing. You don't even know how to do anything. I don't even care about your opinion. I don't understand how this woman started out as like, you know, quite calm, a little bit concerned. She went to like really angry. Then she went to full on just screaming. And then she ended up crying. This video is a fucking roller coaster. And this next TikToker decided to give us a musical number to, uh, you know, give a message to Gen Z, all right? So so let's just watch it, shall we? And I'm proud to be a millennial with my side part and skinny jeans. And I won't be told what to wear or how to use emojis. Would you kindly shut the fuck up? Ain't nobody asked you for your opinion anyway. Stay in your motherfucking lane. Telling us to stay in our lane, like, bitch, shouldn't you be trying to buy a house in today's economy rather than making cringe TikToks? Like, come on, bro. If somebody asked me to join the war in Gen Z versus millennials, I'd probably reply with, fuck off, I'm not doing that. But after seeing all of this shit ass cringe, all right, it just makes me want to join in the fight, all right? Obviously, I'll be fine for Gen Z, all right? Now, look, hear me out. You're my generation, okay? We may be cringe retards who cry about everything, but at least we can make some funny memes. 
teams, all right? Anyway, this next clip is probably the most painful thing you will ever have to sit through in your entire life. And look, I know some of you have seen the Among Us musical. It's worse than that. This is the woman rapping about Gen Z's deciding to cancel Eminem. Gen Z's trying to cancel Eminem. What? Gen Z. They are trying to cancel Eminem. Gen Z's trying to what? You fucking deaf or something? Gen Z's trying to cancel Eminem. Cancel Eminem. Yes, that's what I just said. Well done. Gen Z's trying to cancel Eminem. I like seriously. I how how Honey, how did you cope in school? That's cute. Listen, little kitties, let me make this quick. There, this what man the fuck was are you doing? You were here, so Why are you rapping? Because the man was a lyricist, while all your rappers are a mumbling gibberish. There we go. That is all the cringe shit millennials have been posting over the past few weeks. All right. I have no idea why they keep crying about Gen Zs. All right. Like, do you fucking love us or something? Fine, you can express your love for us. We won't judge. We'll just probably fucking bully you for it. I know I'm back in here now, I just needed to do the outro. Anyway gamers, that's the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and yeah, I'll see you later.